Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this semi-massive empties haul. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. So you guys, um, I'm going to just jump right into it. I have, um, it's been a little while since I posted a video, mainly because I've been working on burning down on all of these candles and home fragrance items. I did an empties video, a spring empties video about, about two and a half, maybe three weeks ago, about there, and I asked you guys if you enjoyed watching empties videos, because I, I never know. Um, a lot of the ones that I show in my empties, I've either already done a review on or posted on Instagram about but a lot of you enjoyed the empties videos because it gives me a little more time to explain, you know, my thoughts on the candle since I burned it all the way through or the wax, kind of how long they lasted. So without further ado, this is going to be part two of my spring empties candles and or wax melts. I think I might have a couple soaps and some other home fragrance items in here. Let's just jump on into it. Now, a lot of these, like I said, are going to be repeats of things I've already reviewed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over each item, and what I'll say is I'll let you know if I would purchase it again or if I would not purchase it again. I'll give you my thoughts on that. And then before we jump into it, just a side note, I saw Tina Delicious's um, Instagram post, Tina Delicious is. Instagram post about all of the rose candles coming through Bath and Body Works. I guess they're in test phase right now. Super excited about that. I feel like they maybe should have launched that a little earlier. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but I feel like now places are getting into like their summer scents. Um, Yankee's already doing like their summer scent event. I don't know if they're going to be coming out with any summer fragrances, but I feel like places are already going into summer. So this will most certainly be one of my last spring hauls that I do. Anything going forward is going to be more of like a summer type thing. But comment down below if you guys saw the new Single Wick Rose collection. Um, he put up a video about it. He did a haul. It was amazing. Wish they would have come out with it earlier, but I can't wait to try them. So let's dive into my empties here. A lot of these are going to be florals. So the first one rainbow cookie from yankee candle this came out last spring season i picked this up at semi-annual sale like last sas and um, finally got around to burning it this spring because of course it's in season right now i've always liked this scent and um but i don't think i would get it again the paraffin version like the single wick paraffin wax version just it just doesn't throw for me, you guys. Um, I burned it. It's it's very light, 1 to 10, 10, of course, being the strongest. It's it's coming in at like a 3, 3.5. Very, very light backdrop type scent. Beautiful fragrance. Very sweet confectionery sugar type scent. I actually preferred Yankee Candles um, Rainbow Shake, this, version's, this year's Easter version. Very, very similar to Rainbow Cookie. So I prefer that just simply because it throws. But um, if they could amp up the fragrance on Rainbow Cookie, I would buy it again. But in this form, I would not. Let's see what else we have. And speaking of, oh, I got another Rainbow Cookie. I think I got this at semi-annual sale last season as well. I wanted to try the Smooth Wax version. Um, smooth Wax seemed to throw a little bit more, but this I did have in the bathroom, whereas this one... I had in the larger room. So, you know, same thing, lighter scent, backdrop scent. Smooth Wax obviously pulled out a little bit quicker, but would I purchase it again? No, probably not. Maybe if the tumblers were like on a crazy low sale, like $5 a piece, and maybe they had a 10% off coupon during semi-annual sale, I might pick up another one um, just to kind of have it. Really pretty scent, but just not good enough of a throw on that one for me. Let's do all the candles first, and then I will get into, probably should have organized my box a little bit better. As I've said before, once I'm done burning something, I just chuck it in the box and then go through it when we have time. So the next one I have, Easter Basket. This is one of Yankee Candles Easter collections. They had three fragrances come out for this spring slash Easter season. One of them was Easter Basket. I was totally on the fence about this, totally on the fence. I have a full-on review of all three fragrances I posted about a month ago or so. Um, really clean, fresh, almost like a fresh cut lemongrass, lemongrass, fresh cut, you know, stem rose type fragrance. In my review, I had burned it several times and I really, really liked it. Really pretty, crisp, 
bright, um, fresh fragrance, blends really well with florals. But the more I burned down on this, you guys, the scent just wasn't there. Um, as I said in my review, I had it in the open concept, then I put it into a smaller room. Just wasn't getting the throw on it that I like. Would I purchase this again? Um, probably maybe in the melt form, if they had wax tarts or melt cups, which I think they did. Um, if they made it a little bit stronger, I would. Pretty, clean, fresh, nice to mix with different floral scents. Not my absolute favorite, but I would purchase it again if it threw a little bit more. So that's Easter Basket. I think I have one more Easter collection one. Yes, I do. So I was really impressed with this one, Rainbow Shake. To me, it smells very similar to Rainbow Cookie. Very, very similar. Do I think they're exactly the same? I don't think so. Let me smell them side by side. No, this one's more of a smooth confectionery um, powder sugar type scent where this one has a little bit more of a creamy, I don't want to say floral because it's not, but kind of how Pink Petal Tea Cake or like a cream peony has like that cream floral with a bit of sweetness. This has a little more of um, that going on. I don't remember the notes offhand for Rainbow Shake. Really pretty. Um, if they would have had this in a two wick tumbler version, I would have absolutely got it. I love their jar candles because they last so long, but I just feel like they don't throw as much as a smooth wax version, which is why I got the tumblers. But I really enjoyed Rainbow Shake. If it comes back next year, I will absolutely get it. Or when they do their semi-annual sale, if they have any Rainbow Shakes left, I will probably wind up grabbing them. Let's see what else we have. I don't have as many Bath and Body Works as I usually do. It's because all the ones I've been burning are either Pink Petal Tea Cake or um, Love Rose Vanilla. That's, that's pretty much why. I have, now this one I was really impressed with, probably one of my favorite spring scents of the season. I've been either burning this or melting this just like consistently for the most part for the past month and a half or so, if not more. Sweet Morning Rose from Yankee Candle. This was their Sunday brunch collection. I do have a full on review of this collection. This was that weird collection where it came out like a month ahead at like Bed Bath & Beyond and Walmart and then Yankee Candle like did their floor set for it and brought it out like a month later, which very, very interesting. Um, I feel like the launch should be in the stores, but that's just me. Anyhow, I absolutely loved this scent. Really pretty, sweet rose. Um, not as green or crisp as like a fresh cut rose, but really beautiful nonetheless. Has a little bit of that confectionery kind of sugar. The medium jar, for a medium jar, Yankee Candle single, like I was blown away at the performance. Is it crazy house filling, you know, billowing into all the room strong? No, but for a medium single wick Yankee Candle jar, it, it, it threw very, very well. Um, one to 10, I would say it was coming in at like a solid five and a half, six um, in the room. So, I mean, you could absolutely smell it wafting around. I would absolutely purchase this again. I actually wound up getting a full size version of this for my mom for Mother's Day. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I did a personalized candle for her and I posted it on Instagram. I got her a large version of the Sweet Morning Rose. And then I actually wound up getting myself one of the... Um, this size, they had their tumblers on sale. So I got a sweet morning rose in that. Absolutely love the scent, would buy it again next season. Let's see, what else do we have here? So this was a new one for me. It's been a real long time since I burned a Chesapeake Bay. I burned one, I think I have a um, eucalyptus and a market peach Chesapeake Bays that I reviewed like a year and a half ago or so. And that's the last time I burned Chesapeake Bay because I didn't really care for them. They were ones I had gotten from Target, so the style was a little bit different. I'm not sure of this collection name. It's almost, um, it says Mind and Body, so I don't know if this is like their wellness collection. This one is Stillness and Purity, and it's just a really simple, beautiful rose water. These are Soy Wax Blend. And this one I had going in the half bath, and it, it just was a beautiful, almost backdrop type scent. Not a crazy in your face type fragrance, but really, really pretty lingering scent. When I had it in the open concept area with you know other fragrances going, it blended beautifully as well. 
If you like something that's not like Bath & Body Works in your face caliber fragrance, you might enjoy this one. Um, I haven't tried any of the other scents from this collection. Would I purchase it again? Yeah, I, I probably would. I like the size. Um, sometimes it's nice to not have a huge massive candle going. I have a few different candle hurricanes like this one behind me. I can't really fit, I guess I could fit like a huge jar candle, but this size actually fits quite nicely in there. So I will be trying Chesapeake Bay's probably at some point down the road, I'll do a review on them. But I was very pleased with this really clean burn. You can see a little bit of smudge right there. Overall though, you guys, really clean burn, no sooting, nothing crazy. I had to trim the wicks just a little bit. Nice performance on this candle all the way down to the bottom, you guys, all the way down. Very nice, I would definitely try that brand again. Another one that was one of my favorites. This was also from that Sunday brunch collection from Yankee. Floral candy, really pretty, sweet, um, floral, sugary scent. Very, very fitting for spring. Um, strong, not as strong as the Sweet Morning Rose, but still strong in its own right for a Yankee Candle. Um, the medium jar came in in an open area, probably around a five, five and a half. You could absolutely notice it. It was there, it was noticeable. If you had this going in a smaller room, I'm sure you'd be able to smell it as well. I was never able to get my hands on a melt cup of floral candy, which really kind of stinks. I did of Sweet Morning Rose and I loved it. And the longevity of that melt cup was insane. I could keep melting it over and over and over again. Um, I would purchase floral candy again. I don't know if they're going to bring it back or if it's kind of a seasonal type thing. I'm assuming it probably is seasonal. Um, I would purchase it again if they brought it back. I really enjoyed the scent, but I would probably opt for a smooth wax version next go around just because these take so long to pull out. So that's floral candy. I also have, and I don't have all of the empties saved because there were so many. <laughs> Pink Petal Tea Cake, um, the very, very famous Pink Petal Tea Cake. And this was actually the packaging from Candle Day, you guys. This is when we all found out Pink Petal Tea Cake was coming back. So this is the one where they have kind of the ode to the original launch in 2014. As you can see, they have that right there. Don't worry, I have another non-burned version in my candle collection. I didn't want to burn the... Um, almost collectible type packaging, but I did burn this one because I don't need to hoard tons of extra candles. But in between, let's see, do I have, I should have put the um, newest version out. So this version came out of Pink Petal Tea Cake and then one with like the black lids came out as well. I don't have it in front of me. They, to me, both of them seem to burn very, very similarly. Um, the scent, very, very similar. I know sometimes with certain candles, like last summer, that banana shake, banana milkshake candle, the original launch, it smelled amazing. And then the second go around when they remade it, it didn't smell the same, wasn't as strong. I have to say between the two versions of Pink Petal Tea Cake, like the original, and then I guess you would call the black top ones their sweet shop collection, didn't notice much of a difference. I have burned those ones as well. For whatever reason, I didn't put it in my empties box. But um, I love Pink Petal Tea Cake, and I'm so happy to see Bath & Body Works jumping on the Rose bandwagon because it sounds like they are coming out with a bunch of beautiful floral rose fragrances, and I'm really looking forward to that. So would I buy Pink Petal Tea Cake again? Yes, that goes without, you know, without question. It's probably one of my favorite scents next to um, Paris, which is Lavender Macaron. And then I have right here, Aromatherapy Love, which is Rose Vanilla. I do have, sorry, I'm very overlit the angling of my uh, camera here, or my lighting. This one, so, so pretty. Would I buy it again? I love the scent. I actually use the body care in this, the Aromatherapy Body Care. When I did the review of this candle, I was saying how much I loved it. I think it was around Valentine's Day is when I did the review for this. Beautiful scent, strong. Um, not as strong as Pink Petal Tea Cake, but a, definitely a strong fragrance. Nice, beautiful, smooth rose with um, a warm, smooth vanilla. 
not like a vanilla bean bakery vanilla, just a smooth vanilla. Gorgeous scent. The only thing is, you guys, once I hit that halfway mark, maybe even a little bit before, like right here, it it just got so murky. This actually sat in my closet after it hit that halfway murky point for a good month. I, I wanted to burn it, but I just knew it was not going to smell as good as it originally did, and it kind of bummed me out. I didn't have time or, you know, didn't take the opportunity to go swap it out. I used to be really good about swapping out candles that didn't perform, didn't throw. I just don't that much anymore. Um, if you guys swap out your candles, like if you have one that's halfway burned and it gets all icky and murky, like at Yankee or Bath and Body Works, comment down below. Do you guys still go and switch out your candles and swap them out after you've burned them? If I've maybe burned it once I do, I don't know, I just don't as much anymore, you guys. Anyhow, would I buy this again? Yes, if they had a really, really good sale, maybe if aromatherapy was on like a 50 or 75% off, but I just, the performance on this one was um, a little bit to be desired once it hit the halfway point, and even more so than the normal Bath & Body Works candles, so that's saying something. Anyhow, that's Love Rose Vanilla, beautiful scent just a little iffy performance on the burn and then we're making our way down i got two more candles three more candles and then the rest is going to be wax melts and or wallflower empties and then of course i forgot i had this one in here pink petal tea cake single wick my empty collection would not be complete without this. Um, I love the single wicks. I think they're a nice size. Again, they fit into hurricanes or anything like that. Um, as always, a single wick's not gonna have the best throw versus say a large three wick or even a dual wick. Really pretty fragrance. Didn't notice much of a difference between the larger versions and this, except the single wick didn't throw as well because it's a single wick, but would I purchase this again? Yes, absolutely. When Bath & Body Works, when and if they do a promotion on their single wicks, especially when that rose collection comes out, you know I'll be buying some. And even if I don't burn them this like late spring and into the summer, I will absolutely be saving them for next spring. So that's Pink Petal Tea Cake Single Wick from Bath & Body Works right there. I would absolutely buy it again. And then I forgot about this little guy, Wood Wick. It's been a while since I burned a wood wick candle. Um, I actually started off my wood wick candle burning about four years ago. I got one of those massive oval wood wicks in Lavender Spa, which is what this fragrance is. I do have a full review up of this if you're interested. So I wanted to try a smaller one, mainly because of the area I was gonna be using it. I had a very small space and I wanted to try this scent again. I love Lavender Spa from Woodwick, but this size, it's just too small. You still get the crackling wick and everything and the ambiance, but it's its just too small to, to have a decent throw. I, I don't think I would be buying this size again. I would at least go one size up or just kind of get one of the large versions and have to find somewhere to place it. Beautiful fragrance on the Lavender Spa, smooth herbaceous lavender, but the size on those ones, I just don't think I'm gonna get those again. Now I have, this is probably my favorite next to Pink Petal Tea Cake, but of this season, probably even more so than Sweet Morning Rose and Floral Candy. This is Yankee Candle Sugared Wildflowers, and this is their Elevations line. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance, you guys. Uh, almost um, a cooling, herbaceous eucalyptus type lavender. I was so impressed with this, you guys. I have a full on review where I kind of just sing the praises of this candle. So their medium styles are a three wick. They have a larger, taller version of this that's a two wick. And then they have a mini version that's like a single wick, kind of like the Yankee Candle baby jars. Beautiful scent. I have not burned any other fragrances from the Elevation line and I probably will at some point but I was so happy with this one. Gorgeous, if you're a lavender fan and you like a good herbaceous sweet lavender, you have to try this one. I will say, word on the street is this fragrance might be going away. Why, I don't know why they would get rid of like a great floral scent that's like beautiful, who knows? So will I be buying this one? Yes, I will absolutely be buying more because it's gorgeous and I am going to be super bummed if it goes away. 
just like when Yankee Candle got rid of their Pure Radiance line. Those were beautiful scents. Comment down below if you remember Pure Radiance. They had some beautiful scents and gorgeous vase candles. I loved their crackling wick candles. Anyhow, if you guys like sugared wildflowers, I don't know for sure, but I've heard it's going away, so you might want to get some if you've been interested in trying it. So that sugared wildflowers, yes, I would buy more, and I am going to before it goes away for good. So I have a couple melt cups here from Yankee and a few other random wax items. I have a Sweet Morning Rose melt cup. This thing I melted over and over and over and over again. I know you're supposed to get about 25 hours of melt time out of this. I used it for a good almost a month straight in one particular warmer and just flipped it on and it kept giving this strong, beautiful scent. So I absolutely love this fragrance. It's semi-annual sale when they launch their SAS. I will absolutely be grabbing more. Another one I really enjoyed, which I don't have a candle um, in front of me. I thought I had a candle of this. Maybe I don't. Blush Bouquet. Really beautiful, a little bit lighter, um, almost more of a light, sweet, powdery floral scent, um, a blend of kind of pink and white florals. This was not as strong as the Sweet Morning Rose or as sweet, a little more muted, but still really pretty nonetheless. I would absolutely pick that one up again as well. And then I do have a few, probably one of my go-to favorite scents. So I have, I burn wax tarts like crazy, you guys. I've been melting a lot more than I have been burning candles. So I go through the little $1, I guess they're $2, Yankee Candle tarts quite a bit. I have some blush bouquets. And one of my all-time favorites is Fresh Cut Roses. It's just such a good scent layering fragrance. You can burn the Fresh Cut Roses alongside like Pink Petal Tea Cake, even that, even Sugared Wildflowers, any beautiful floral. I feel like Fresh Cut Roses blends really nicely with. If you're a Fresh Rose fan, I know some people are and some people aren't. Let's see, I got a couple more, more Fresh Cut Roses, and I think the rest of them are all Fresh Cut Roses. So now I do have, this is honestly all I've been using this entire spring, the past three months, you guys. I know, not much of a variety. It's all florals, but for... Uh, Bath and Body Works, my wallflowers have either all been lavender woods, which I wish they would have come out with the wallflower when they originally came out with the candle because they didn't have this available when lavender woods launched, but I was happy to see that it has since come out. So lavender woods, would I buy this again? Yes, absolutely. It's an amazing scent. I have a full review of the candle version of this up on my channel. And then of course, rosewater ivy can't go wrong with rose water ivy beautiful scent blends really well almost all my wallflowers are rose water ivy or I did switch that one out to lavender woods and I got just two other little items here you guys I have a random it takes me forever to use these the Yankee candle the um, fragrance oils I use their oils and then I also use like I have a bunch of essential oils. I have a diffuser, like a cold vapor diffuser that I use at night and I'll just drop a little bit of oil in this. Holiday Lights, this one's almost like a perfumey sweet type scent and um, I found that it blends really nicely with like a pretty floral scent. So I finally used this. These take forever to, um, to use, at least for me, just a couple drops because it's so concentrated. So I found that a really beautiful fragrance. And then this is kind of random, but <laughs> I have a Kringle Vanilla Cone Wax Melt. I do have some really pretty Kringle Wax Melts that are um, like lemon and summery scents that I'll be melting probably next month as we get into June. I'll be using those, so I'll do reviews on those as well. And I have some Goose Creek ones coming too. But I was using the Vanilla Cone alongside Pink Petal Tea Cake. So I kind of almost had like... Um, Pink Petal Tea Cake Sweet and then like a vanilla-y, yummy type fragrance going on. So Vanilla Cone from Kringle, really pretty. It smells just like a sweet, creamy vanilla and you do get the cone note. So for you vanilla fans out there, if you just like a good vanilla gourmand scent, you might like the Vanilla Cone 
from Kringle. So you guys, I think that's it. I was going to include soaps and I was going to include body care, but as you can see, I am already at 24 minutes right now. So I don't want to be doing like 30 minute videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know a lot of these are repeats, um, but I wanted to hop on here and share my empties with you because my empties box was getting a little bit full and I wanted to show you guys the scents I've been burning over the past month. So if you guys have used any of these or if any of these are your faves, comment down below. Let me know what you guys have been burning or melting this spring season. I can't believe we're already midway through May. June is upon us and summer scents are upon us already. So I don't know when I'll be doing another video. I do have a Goose Creek, Goose Creek order coming. So the next video you may see from me is probably gonna be a Goose Creek unboxing. It's gonna be some late spring slash summer type scents. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. And I know we're all eagerly awaiting Bath and Body Works Rose Collection to see if that's gonna be a test only, or maybe that's gonna make it to stores. So if those make it nationwide, I'll absolutely be snagging a couple and trying them as well. So you guys, that is it for me today. Thank you for sticking with me for a full 25 minutes to listen to me. Talk about candles and wax. I'll let you guys go. Before I sign off, I want to let you know I am on Instagram. So come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. And you guys, as always, I hope you are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.